Sifting through the dirt for food, survivors of Cyclone Nargis are trying to salvage what they can. It's becoming clear that much of the next harvest in the Irrawaddy Delta has been lost. The area provides 40% of Myanmar's rice. The UN estimates that some 200,000 hectares have been completely ruined. Myanmar used to be the world's seventh biggest exporter of rice. Food was plentiful here. But now look at these people. With no rice harvest in the coming months, it's going to get worse unless aid can be stepped up and the effect will be felt beyond Myanmar. We're also going to see it have uh, regional implications. Uh, what we have seen is that Myanmar had been running a rice surplus uh, for the past two years and this year it was due to export rice uh, to both Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. But you can see that that will be impossible this year. But it's not just the paddy fields which have been destroyed, it's also the livestock and equipment which is used to plough those fields which has been lost. This Thai company is donating 200 of these special tractors, but in reality tens of thousands of pieces of equipment like this are needed if the food basket of Myanmar is ever to feed the nation again. These tractors cost $2,000 each. They'll be handed over to one of the world's most corrupt, inhumane regimes. Who knows if they'll ever reach those that need them. Myanmar's generals seem determined to obstruct aid. UN's trying to be patient, but they're plainly frustrated. Much remains to be clarified. Uh, we need a, a far greater stepping up of that relief operation. Uh, we want uh, better access for international aid workers, including NGOs. Hardly the unfettered access UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon was promised aid agencies would get when he visited Myanmar two weeks ago. And this US warship, the USS Essex, stocked with supplies, helicopters and men, is sailing away from the disaster zone. The US Navy has given up hope that Myanmar's generals will let them help. And so the people are left to cope as best they can, ploughing the few fields that are above water, even if they are still strewn with bodies. This natural disaster is fast becoming a man-made catastrophe. Dam Rivers, CNN, Bangkok.